Well, good morning, Lionhearts. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. How are you all doing today? I hope you said well. I'm doing well. We are going today to Madame Tussauds Wax Museum here in Las Vegas. I love wax museums. They're actually some of the most fun things you can do to me. I love to just go see how they created these and to make jokes and stuff. And so today we're gonna go hit the wax museum. It's right over by uh, the Flamingo where I stayed the other day. And um, I've never been to this one. Let's go check it out. Days with Jordan the Lion. It begins right now. What do you say, honey? You in for a wax museum today? And this apartment building definitely has to win an award for amazing murals. Oh look, David Copperfield's at the MGM. He's back. There's the MGM lion up here. The Statue of Liberty. Walking through the Venetian entrance to get there. The honking horns kind of distract you from it really feeling like Venice, but you get the idea. I think the next time I come, I'm gonna stay here at the Venetian. I've never stayed here either, and I have been to Venice, so I'd like to see how it adds up. Oh, as we were walking across the street, look what we found. The legendary photo of the Rat Pack with Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, Joey Bishop was taken at this spot in 1960, adjacent to the Las Vegas Strip. In the early 1960s, the five stars were headliners at the famed Copa Room inside the Sands Hotel. The footprints below mark the approximate location of where these legendary stars once stood for this photo. Oh, you mean this big slab of awesomeness right here? So, look at that. The footprints are facing me. So, that means they would have been standing like that for that iconic photo. Are you freaking kidding me? Let's take a look. There it is. Dang, dude. That was not planned on this vlog. We literally just stumbled upon it. Right here, across from the Palazzo and the Venetian. So I guess I gotta stand in Frank's shoes, Dean's shoes, Sammy, uh, why not? Heck, I'm here, why not? Frank's on the end. Oh, look, perfect shoes for it too. Dino would have been right there. Nice. And if you stand in Sammy Davis Jr.'s footprints, you can actually get a pretty cool selfie with the plaque. All right, we have found it. I love the way that they have the outside and the way they've decorated. This should be a great experience. All right, here's our entrance. You go through the Grand Canal shops. And here we are. This should be great. I've never been to a wax museum that had this long of a line. This must be a good one. Now look how long that is. Isn't that nuts? So as soon as you come in, the very first person you see is Jamie Foxx giving you the give piece a chance. It's pretty good, actually, I think. They're taking my photo. Then we make our way over to Oscar Goodman. Mainstay in Vegas. Oh, nice. I love these kind of things. Put you in the zone. Dance party. I like that cool mirror, all that shattered mirror there that says Madame Tussauds. This is where all the celebrities are. Matthew McConaughey, and I was surprised to learn from a friend recently that he apparently owns all the rights to Evil Knievel. How cool is that? I can't think of actually anybody better to play Evil Knievel if they ever did a movie than him. Good actor. Here we have Halle Berry from Monster. I remember her when she married Dave Justice, the baseball player. I was a big baseball fan. Halle Berry. 
beautiful. And here we have Johnny Depp. I'm always curious as to whether they'll do him as a character or like red carpet. I always think they should do a character, but looks pretty good. Looks just like him, don't you think? Undeniably Johnny Depp. Here we have Lady Gaga. Pretty good. The owner of Frank Zappa's house. How cool is that? That's great. And here we have Tim McGraw. I actually like Tim McGraw quite a bit. One of the few modern country stars that I like. And this is Khloe Kardashian. You know how out of touch I am? I didn't even know I had to ask someone. I'm like, who's that supposed to be? <laughs> oh man. Here we have Beyonce. You knew they were gonna have Beyonce. They couldn't not have Beyonce, right? That's kind of like a given these days. Pretty good, good outfit too, right? And here we have Colin Farrell. Let's see. Yeah, that definitely looks like Colin Farrell. So far, all these are pretty spot on. I wanna see some Vegas legends though, come on. You two can sit and live like a rock star. I think that's Steve Aoki. Pretty cool outfit. Check this out, check out his clothes. First off, look at the eyeballs on the pants. Wearing his own face on the shirt. That's kind of a Hulk Hogan move. And yeah, nice. Okay, you know I have to sit in this one. You know I gotta do the fun photo with Hugh Hefner, don't you? You know I have to. So what I want for Christmas Santa Claus is a beautiful blonde. And then right here we have Vin Diesel. Yeah, that's spot on Vin Diesel, no question. Pretty good job on that one. Now we are gonna go where it says this gorgeous way. Cool. NASCAR legends. Here you got Dale Earnhardt Jr. I actually do know some of these, believe it or not. And then you have Jeff Gordon, Mr. DuPont, minus the mustache. I remember him with a mustache. Then we have Dale Earnhardt, number three, unmistakable. Tragic passing. And STP Richard Petty. He always kind of had that Burt Reynolds thing going on, didn't he? Nothing wrong with that. And then over here, we have a Vander Holyfield. It's a pretty good one. Let's see the face. Yeah, that's a great Evander Holyfield. Wonder if they'll have Mike Tyson. He used to live here. Still may, for all I know. Here he goes, Muhammad Ali. Mama call him Clay, I'ma call him Clay. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I'm kinda, I'm kinda bummed that they don't have him wearing the robe that Elvis gave him. I mean, he did have that fight here in Vegas. It just, that would've been cool. Take advantage of the Vegas history. Don King, legendary promoter. I always remember him always being surrounded, always with Mike Tyson, constantly. They even have him holding that cigar. Here we have golfing legend Arnold Palmer without his drink. And they even created a little putting green here for him. Set him on a golf course. Tons of golf courses here. Look at that look. What a great look. <laughs> huh? Who said that? Huh? Hmm? Okay, now that's Andre Agassi, but maybe I'm old school. I remember him with the baseball cap with the ponytail coming out all the time. Kind of would have liked to have seen the old Andre Agassi. Tennis legend. And I believe he married Steffi Graf, tennis legend. Take a look at this. Hey, Bruce. Isn't that great? Like, very, very lifelike. That looks like 1927-ish. Still kind of thin. Maybe even 25, 1925. 
And then right next to him, the great Shaquille O'Neal, who recently got plastered through a table in wrestling. <laughs> yeah, he's now a professional wrestler and got taken through a table. Follow the whatever kind of road that is. Oh yeah, you gotta have angel wings. You gotta have angel wings. Check out all the graffiti. Biggie. Notorious B.I.G. From that 90s era, he was my favorite. He was my favorite rapper out of all those guys. Tupac and all the, the death row rivalry and all that stuff. I was, but I was a Biggie fan. Bad boy. And here we have Daft Punk. Those are great. I actually was in a, um, I was in a Super Bowl commercial one time, doubling for Matt Liner, and they had him dressed up as Daft Punk, and they put me in a spaceship at the uh, LA Sports Arena. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool helmets too, right? Wow. Then here we have Madonna. What do you think? What do you think? Pretty lifelike? I think so. I think it looks dead on. And then this one is Aaliyah. She was a young star, like 15, 16. Very young death too, unfortunately. Follow the road cases. This must be rock and roll. Ah, Katy Perry. Definitely Katy Perry, holy cow. What an outfit. They even uh, put her tattoo on her arm there, you can see. And if you're a fan of Miley Cyrus, you can sit on this wrecking ball and take a photo with her in the background on her wrecking ball. Which, I gotta hand it to her, it, it was a great song. It was a hit. Let's see. And this one is Justin Bieber. They have a lot of options to go with him. He changes his look like every couple of months, it seems like, right? Oh, this is so cool. Look at Bob. They did Bob Marley. That is so great. Oh, man, I love it. I don't think I've ever seen a Bob Marley quite like this. They always make him playing a guitar or something, which is great, but this is way cooler. Look at that. He's chilling. Oh, take a look at Prince. Purple Rain Prince. Nice. We'll see how good it is. We'll see the face. Oh, I think it's perfect, man. They went above and beyond at this museum on the faces, I think. These are extremely accurate. <laughs> then here we have Rihanna. It's a pretty good Rihanna. Also another person who changes their looks so often you could have went with so many different looks. Yeah, it's pretty good Rihanna. I gotta say, not a fan, not a fan. Too much involvement in the NBA. Can't keep himself in a seat. Not a fan, Drake. But for anyone that is, here you go. Oh, this is great. Well, I don't like the hair. I don't think the hair really fits because the hair kind of to me looks more Edward Scissorhands than Michael Jackson. But the face looks pretty good. I think this is supposed to be bad era of Michael Jackson, just based on the clothing and everything, but I'm not digging the hair. It's just two Edward Scissor hands for me. So you have to imagine if you see a gigantic joint on the ground with teeter-totter handles so you can hold on, that you must be taking a photo of Snoop. And it's definitely Snoop, look at that. Look at this trifecta. We got Lenny Kravitz over here. That's great, wow. That's a really cool Lenny Kravitz look. Looks just like him. And then you have Fergie right here. Fergalicious. And then of course, Stevie Wonder. 
The man overjoyed. I just called to say I love you. So many, so many hits. We are the world. Let's go say hi to Tupac. Wow. Very intimidating. Very intimidating look to him. Very serious. And of course, this is this is where he was gunned down here in Vegas. Riding with Suge Knight after a boxing event. Look at all the hands hanging from the ceiling. This is the wax hands exhibit. And they have all kinds of famous hands on the wall. Some that I wouldn't have expected, to be honest with you. Like freaking Lou Reed. I wouldn't have expected Lou Reed. You never see like Janet Jackson or John Bon Jovi. They got Lenny Kravitz and Michael Jackson. Check out Michael Jackson's with his signature. My hands are a little bit longer. Eric Clapton. And look, they have Andy Warhol over in the wax hands wearing tennis shoes. What the heck? Interesting. More Andy Warhol. And here's Marie Tussaud. Madame Tussaud. The woman who studied under Louis Tussaud and became known for all these wax figures. Whoa, Tony Bennett. He's got half hair and half bald head. Look at that. First American Madame Tussauds opens right where you stand in Vegas. Awesome. I wonder where the party goes. Oh, okay, it goes this way. That is somebody's hand. What the heck is going on here? What the heck is going on here, man? Oh! That looks like Augustus Caesar. Is that? Yeah, I think it's Augustus Caesar. <laughs> Why has he got his hand through a mattress? Hey, look at that. Who's that? Would you please put some pants on? What's going on here? I feel weird having to ask. So as we walk in here, this is the hangover experience. You can see Mike Tyson is down there. Bradley Cooper. And they've pretty much set up the whole room in the movie. Here we have the poker chips and the couch. Right over here by Mike Tyson. What do you think? Check out the eyes. Wow. Iron Mike. Now we're going to the wedding chapel. Wedding chapel, the best place to get married. And they have a sign on the door that says, Elvis has left the building and is no longer available for weddings. Is that Galifianakis? There's the car. Now let's get to the cool stuff. Holy cow! Oh, this is what we came for. Freaking mother load of the collection here. We got the Blue Man Group. If you haven't seen Arrested Development, the early seasons when Tobias becomes one of the Blue Men, oh my God, it's so funny. I, I can't even see these guys without thinking of that storyline on Arrested Development. So we got the Blue Men here. And then as we move along, we have the real history of Vegas. Benjamin Bugsy Siegel sitting here at a table by himself. Benny, they used to call him. Oh, blue eyes. Nice. Cool. I was hoping they would do something very authentically Vegas, and they have. Because look over here, you've got some of your rat pack. The hot three, the headliners here. Dino. Any one of these guys was the marquee guy. Without the others, he could still pack them in. Frank, that's great. That's like the capital years, Frank. And then over here is Sammy. Nice. That is killer, Madame Tussauds. That is killer. 
you see the chandeliers, you know it's gotta be for Liberace. What do you think? Even with the piano, you've got the classic Liberace piano, but look at all of that. Look at the outfit. They nailed it. Look at the rings. Wow. He did a great job on this one. And then look who's right behind him. Mr. Las Vegas, Wayne Newton. No mustache. Nice. Right there by Liberace. That's a perfect, perfect setup. Yeah, Wolfgang Puck. Playing Elvis and showing us Wolfgang Puck. But even cooler to me than Wolfgang Puck, look who's beside him. We already mentioned him once in this vlog. Evil. Evil can evil. Look at that. Wow. Dude, if I didn't know better, I would swear that was him standing right in front of us. Kind of looks like Robert Pollard from Guided by Voices, too. And then another Vegas mainstay. One of Elvis's buddies. In fact, I think Elvis was the one that turned him on to peanut butter for the first time. Tom Jones. Nice. And then over here, by the pit of all the poker chips over here, we have Donnie and Marie Osmond. And as we make our way past all the poker chips, look who's over here. Ace Rothstein. That's right. De Niro Casino. Classic. That's a good one. That's a really good one. What do you think? Perfect addition to this. Here we have Satchmo, Louis Armstrong. Right next to Bette Midler. I was kind of not expecting her. That was quite a surprise. And then we have Celine Dion. My heart will go on, Celine Dion. What do you think? I haven't honestly seen one that looked terrible. The only thing I haven't been happy with, like I mentioned, was the uh, the Michael Jackson hair that looked like Edward Scissorhands, but other than that... Alright, what do we think of Elvis? What do we think? I don't know, huh? You know we're going to be extra picky when it comes to judging the Elvis one. They kind of made him look like heavier Elvis, I think. I would have thought they'd do 1969 international Elvis, personally. I don't know. I'm kind of torn on this one. I don't know what I think. Let's see. I don't know. Mind Freak, Chris Angel. And of course, they had to have Siegfried and Roy. I'm kind of surprised no Penn and Teller, honestly. Look at that. Oh man, even with the ferocious tiger. Pretty good. Pretty good, I'd say. Oh, we've got some Marvel superheroes here. Of course, Samuel L. Jackson. Say what again? The next Tony Stark. Ah. Oh, Captain America. 
the captain. He's been battling, you can tell. Look at that shield. Just another day at the office for captain. And then here we have Spider-Man. Pretty cool, coming out of the wall here. Oh, talk about fun picks, I have to. I have to, don't I? Thanks for taking it easy on me, big guy. That was a fantastic wax museum. Now check out the souvenir shop, Extreme Vegas. It's a man who can appreciate his sunglasses. I approve. Oh my God, all the way down to Hulk hair. Classic. Yeah, totally no joke. I loved this wax museum. And I was really worried because of how big the line was when we got here that it would be, you know, uncomfortable to walk around. It wasn't, it was pretty spaced out actually. Let's roll. Watch this magic trick. Open. See, I learned something in Vegas. Oh, what a great time. What a great, great time. All right, my friends, we're gonna call it a day. I wanna thank Linda and Crystal Valdez for becoming my newest Patreons. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this wax museum. As you could tell, I certainly did. Gives you another idea of something to do if you come to Las Vegas. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye.